Hey, this is Joe Tech from JoeTech.com, and I have another review for you. Uh, this one requires a little video to show off, so I want to just show you how it works. It's a wireless USB PC to TV audio video display adapter, and uh, it's from a company called Warpia, which honestly I hadn't heard of before, so um, you know I'm always a little bit hesitant, but uh, so far it seems to work well, and I'll show you exactly what it does. Um, let me just show you over here first. On this end, we have the receiving unit. Might be a little hard to see, but uh, here's the box it came in. And over here we have a HDMI connector, but it also has a VGA connector, which requires a little bit more uh, effort to set up. The HDMI is much easier, but I've connected via uh, VGA to the TV before, and it's not a big deal. And when you use VGA, you also have to use this little audio jack so that you get the audio out as well. And then over here, we just have the, the power adapter. And that just plugs into the wall. Then here we have the uh, wireless USB connector. And it plugs into this via USB. So it actually comes right out of here. And if you look at this, you can slide this back and plug it into the top. So we'll just do that for this example to show you how it works. And it's obviously easy. I just did it with one hand while I'm shooting video. Then along with this comes this software. It takes just a couple minutes to set up. You have to set this up on your computer. It tells it how to uh, transmit the video out of the USB device, includes the drivers, etc. So uh, that's what you hook up to your computer and um, or to your television and that just uh, the wires go back there you can probably put that underneath as well and it won't be a problem then on this side over here we have the PC end of it and I'll show you how that works on the PC we have a little YouTube video up we have this little guy right here and it actually swivels so you can put it at different angles. I just have mine pointing up so that when I plug it into the side over here, it's just going to point straight up. It'll give me a little bit better reception. I haven't had any problems uh, in my practice using this. So we'll just minimize this real quick and I can show you what's going on here. In my tray, can't see it too well, but there's this little indicator and it says no PC adapters connected. That's because I didn't plug it in all the way. Now that it's in all the way, it turns red, and then it turns green, and it says it's available. So now it's connected, and you can see my screen adjusted a little bit. And then if we look over here, you can see my mouse moving around, and everything works. And I'll show you how this works. I'm just going to play a little bit of this video. It's a uh, chat roulette piano improv video it's got three million views but uh, I'll just show you how this works and and this also demonstrates one of the reasons you might want to do something like this so you can hear the audio coming out of the television and I've got this set at 720p because I have an HD television full screen and it's just like watching TV so uh, pretty nice we'll just shut this down for a second so that's how that works. Um, now I've had solutions before. You can see a computer hooked up to my television and you can see it's not turned on. And the reason it's not turned on is I haven't really been online getting a lot of stuff uh, to display on my television, but that video right there was a good example of something I wanted to show my wife. And you know, anything I want to pull up on my on my screen here, I've got server stats. Now I can see them full screen on the television. So that's how that works. Uh, the only drawback that I have seen to this is, and I'm just going to pull this out and show it to you. Um, this little device here and the receiving unit both get a little warm. So it's something that I don't want to leave plugged in. And the receiving unit, I actually have uh, that I have plugged in and only when I'm using it. And then when I'm not using it, I just unplug it because, A, I don't want to siphon out power for something I'm not actively using. And then, B, it gets kind of warm, and, and I don't really need to warm that up when I'm not using it. So 
that if you do get one of these I would unplug it when you're not using it but otherwise it works pretty good um, and you'll be able to see the full review uh, I'll have better photos and a little bit more description of uh, some of the specs and pricing on JoeTech.com and I'll put a link over there in the sidebar